A disabled man and his girlfriend living in filth in a small space behind an old motel on U.S. 19 in Pasco County. The conditions so bad, officials called it unlivable. And the price that the hotel owners were charging? Unbelievable. News Channel 8's Paul Mueller tracked down the motel owners. Investigators from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, Human Trafficking Task Force, just doing their job here along 19, checking out hotels, bars, and gentlemen's clubs. And then, all of a sudden, during one of those inspections, they make this startling discovery right down there. But for now, this is your only option. Yeah, um, this is my only option. This is Kimberly and Edward Hunt's only option. A small makeshift room on the side of the Crystal Inn Motel in Holiday. No smoke detector, rodents, bugs. Things need to be done to the place to fix it up or something. Her boyfriend, Edward, can't even walk, can't get anywhere. It's terrible. Um, I'm disabled. I uh, can't stand straight and... Yeah, I'm always trapped in this room. I can't walk real far. The owners charge them more than 900 bucks a month for a room the sheriff's office calls unlivable. But they say the room was uninhabitable. So listen to me. I have no time right now. I'm going somewhere. Okay? Would you do this? How can you sleep at night doing that? What do you mean? You charge these listen, people. Listen. You charge these people, and the sheriff's office said the room was uninhabitable. You have nothing to say about that. Even seasoned investigators were shocked. Deplorable. So broken, investigators returned, prepared to cite the owners with more violations, also making sure Kimberly and Edward knew they were there for them in their time of need. Is this your last resort, your only option? Besides the street? Uh, yeah, for now, yeah. Yeah. I'll be on the street if um, we have to leave here. Now a team from Baycare and Next Level Church bringing them food, toiletries, just the basic necessities. The next step, a permanent home. In Pasco County, I'm Paul Mueller, News Channel 8.